Hey, Chuck, can we interview you first? There you go. Oh, hey, how you, how you doing today? Good, good, great to be here among these great bunch of people. Uh, looking forward, have been looking forward to it because it's been a couple of months since we've had a meeting. A lot of things happened in that period of time, you know. <laughs> but fortunately, it looks like everybody's still here. Everybody that was here at the last meeting is here again, so uh, everybody's hanging in there, doing the best we can, you know. We're getting a little... We're growing old a little bit at a time, you know. I'll have a birthday in a couple of weeks, but I'll only be 95. Hell, I'm still You're going fast. <laughs> You're a young guy. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the baby of the bunch. I'm the kid of the bunch, you know. I think, Don, you're about 77, aren't you? I mean, 97. Yeah, yeah. I'll be 95 in a couple of weeks. You know, and I, don't, I don't see where the old granddaddy is, but Mickey's about 99 or 98, I think. I didn't see him here. He's, he's maybe still off somewhere. <laughs> he, he gets around a lot. He covers a lot of ground anyway. So. I hope all of you guys had a great holiday and everything else. And looking forward to a good, prosperous, and exciting year. Oh, i got so damn many things to do. Uh, I'll never get finished. You know, if, if I'm going to do all the things that the good Lord sent me here to do, he's going to have to give me a second life because I can't get it all done in one. <laughs> well, we, we just keep plugging along. I'm so grateful for you and Dawn and for all the things that you have done for these survivors to, to keep that uh, their history, their stories alive because a lot of them would have would have passed on and and there would have been no record of what they went through and what they done so you guys have provided a great service and still do and always will because you've maybe got the most complete uh, library of the individuals who were in that event than anybody else that i know of anyway <laughs> so much thank you thank you so much denise uh, here Well, it's certainly nice to be here again after the holidays. Uh, and I want to thank you folks for the coverage that you gave us on the, on the beacon lighting ceremony. That was uh, all very, very nice. You have any specific questions? How are you doing? Uh, Health-wise, I've been better. I've moved faster. But I'm in pretty good shape for the shape that I'm in, I guess. So, it's, uh, <coughs> yeah, it, uh, I, I did have a... Uh, about o over the holidays and stuff where I was bedridden for a while. But that's just, uh, I guess maturity is creeping up on me. Maturity, huh? <coughs> yeah. You're going to have to be mature soon. Yeah, that's right. That <laughs> seems seems to be. But uh, otherwise, uh, pretty darn good. Do you have any trips planned? Uh, uh, no, I don't. I just don't feel that I'm really up to doing that sort of thing now. I, uh, a nap a day. Well, anyway, at this moment, no. Just, I'll just. So you're, you're 97. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So you're a puppy still. I'm sorry. You're a puppy still. Oh well, I hope I hope so. Considering that the fellow in uh, Texas just died at 111, and of course the uh, the the fellow in San Diego Chavez was 107, I think. So you got a ways to go there. That, well, that's that's what that's what. That's what people tell me, but still getting there. Well, how's your grandson? Quite a, oh, he's just fine, just fine. In fact, he's, I'll say super fine, because he's finally found some girl that they are, quote, reasonably serious, whatever that means to a 30-some-year-old fellow, and she's in her 30s also. Great, great. Uh, of course, I am, you know. that. Uh, you are, you, how you, many greats are you right now? I just have the one uh, great. So you, you're a great, great grandfather? Yeah, a great, great. Uh, <laughs> but just, just, just the one of those. Just the one. One of the, <laughs> one of the highlights of my life. It's so, I, I find it almost easier to relate to the little one now. He's just a year or so. And part of the logic that I think I have about it is with your kids and your grandkids kids it's all a mystery and new things coming up the grandkids you enjoy them and send them back to the parents but the great grandkids i see him as an individual who's going to replace me when i leave these confines and uh, pass on all your 
Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but I did make him a cane like mine. Yeah, I made him one it just looks like mine. A friend of mine in Minnesota did it, and he just got had his first great-granddaughter, and so I've sent him pictures of my great-grandson with, with the, this cane that he made. Well, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I really like it. In fact, I... Uh, uh, I when I, I went back to Minnesota with it once, and I told him how much I admired it, and I said I'd lost it once or, or twice, and it always came back. I have my name and everything on it, yeah, and it came back. And so he said, you want another one? So now I have an extra one just in case. Yeah, it's almost I one goes missing for a while. That's right. Yeah, it's working. Happy New Year. Very, very well. Yeah. Okay. I think they might want to start here. Now. Okay, fine then. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.